I've never seen this before. Let me show you guys. Look at all these payments. And these are in the customer payments. These are thousands of dollars of payments worth each. Hey guys, I'm recording this exactly 8 p.m. Uh, I have not ate. I have not, I don't even know if I took a shower. <laughs> like that's how bad it is. I just finished a six and a half hour webinar, probably the best webinar that I've ever done in my life. Not because we had the most amount of people. We only had a few hundred people. Not because I did something that I, or I, we figured some way to acquire customers that I didn't necessarily know of before, but I essentially announced what we've been working on. I shared the app that we've been working on and I shared it hours after the web, like three hours in. The fact that Avon was able to retain almost 400 people for three hours straight is ridiculous before I actually gave them the whole reason why they were there. And once I showed it, so many people wanted to sign up as I was literally doing a walkthrough over the app that my team actually took down the website because we're not ready to give it access to everyone. But I've never seen demand to the level that I saw it today. I've done webinars. I've done, I've made six figures 24 hours easy, right? But I've never seen this before. Let me show you guys. Look at all these payments. And these are in the customer payments. These are thousands of dollars of payments worth each. And they just keep on going. I've never seen this in my life. And I literally needed just a little moment to just kind of like understand what just happened because I've always made it my mission. You know, I did figure things out easily when I got into business, primarily because I know how to play the game. I'm really good at figuring out how the work works and identifying patterns at identifying where markets are going, identifying what the people want. But as someone who went from running an agency to building and releasing appointment setting teams and systems so people can grow their businesses effortlessly to kind of like now doing what we do, which is develop these playbooks and then, you know, help people launch their companies, scale their companies. I have never seen people be as excited as they were when we introduced this app. Like I've never seen people almost want to break the thing you built just to make sure that they get access to. And I just want to say that the AI wave is going to be so crazy. And if you are not figuring out a way to turn your business into an AI company, I don't think you're going to survive. I generally don't think, I don't see how you survive. The app that I shared today does most of the work that we do in our business, right? And for context, last year, I spent over $3 million on my team, $3 million on consultants, $3 million on funnel builders, $3 million on sales experts, $3 million on integrators. I spent a lot of money. $3 million is a, is a shit ton of money, right? That's more money than most people ever make in their business. Most people never even cross a million dollars a year, right? And the app that I dropped today does almost most of the work that we do, that we did for $3 million because you get to take intelligence and then train it on a specific playbook and then you can rent that intelligence out to people, right? This was my high school, by the way. If you would have told me when I was coming here to school with my little bag, coming to school, seeing people playing in the in this little court and going to my French class. I wasn't too good at French, by the way. And going to my math class, French math teacher was really good. She was cool. She was fun. If you would have told me that like I would be doing what I'm doing today, I would have never believed you. I would have never believed you, especially not the level of stuff that we're doing with AI. So I just wanted to take this moment and just say that like your life can change, but it's going to require you to be first, to chase opportunities that you never thought were possible or that no one, like you're going to, to be, to experience outsized returns, to make the kind of money that changes your life. Like today alone, I'm like, for sure I spent six hours, but like it's probably going to be over a six figure day, right? And that's just for one day. We book almost a hundred calls and we had less than 400 people on the webinar. Do you know what it takes to convert to one third of everybody who's on a presentation to want to become a client? 
that's not because I'm good at sales. I literally am not at sales. I literally spent three hours literally just sharing value and explaining everything we've learned. Four hours total. So I wasn't selling. I was literally sharing everything we've learned. And to see the amount of demand for this AI platform we've built, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I've never seen anything. I don't even know why, what I've been doing this entire time. I should have just been in software this whole entire time. Oh, man. But guys, chase your dreams. Do things. Invest. Go hard. Learn. When everybody's having fun, go in the basement. Learn how to do things that no one else knows how to do. Create content. Talk about your, your life. Talk. Document everything. Document your thoughts. Document what you're going to, to do and say what you're going to do before you even figure it out who cares people might say that you're just a talker but if you don't even say it yourself how will you ever believe that you're actually meant for more or that you even have what it takes to do more and shout out to my team for everything they've been doing i don't think this would have been possible without a team if you guys ever build something we want to do something great find some of the hardest working people people who want more than just money people who generally just want to cook and give them everything you can give them with the right team with the right vision, anything is possible, right? But um, I still don't know how I'm going to do this launch of this app. I don't think I'm ever going to publicize it outside. Just generally because I'm just, I just want our clients using it to share it with their friends, to share it with, I want to never have to promote it unless it's promoted by the, the, by the user. I feel as the healthiest way to grow a business where you don't even rely on marketing all i'm just going to keep on saying is just sharing our playbook around how to win the ai race when it comes to building companies that i'm calling them ai growth firms where you essentially build and release ai growth systems into companies the fastest growth we've ever seen in our entire business life lifetime isn't right now people are embracing ai people are selling ai systems people are wanting to leverage ai to handle most of their sales process most of their appointment setting most of their fulfillment most of everything if you are a knowledge worker you need to be using ai to do most of the work if you're running a local business today i literally had on the webinar a plumber who's like yo i want to figure out a way to solve some growth problems for one of my friends who's also running a home service business but the thing i want to do is i don't necessarily just want to sell to i don't want to get into the business model of selling ai systems i actually want to be able to get into the game of acquiring these old businesses right and doing roll-ups and essentially acquiring a bunch of the same businesses in the same industry and just you put them together the idea is you could go roll them up and sell it to a private equity firm but that's a little harder to pull off, especially if you don't necessarily have insights into these industries because operating a portfolio of companies of home service businesses is probably one of the hardest thing you can do because it's a people-based business it's really hard but i told him that hey why don't you figure out the right system sell it to this business but then take all this playbook and turn it into a platform build like an operating system based on this playbook for this niche and then it becomes your operating system and then you can actually go roll up a bunch of businesses but get the actual ai platform that you did you built for that specific niche to fulfill and offer operate all these businesses because if you try to operate it the old way which is hiring an operator hiring marketers hiring salespeople, hiring systems that's that's a full-time job that's like a career that is really hard to achieve most people never get good at hiring people finding great talent so that's why even though i was saying that like one of the greatest opportunity with ai is figuring out how to scale an ai a business that didn't have ai before but then integrate ai and driving the cost of that business down and then you just go do that in the same businesses and just acquire them at first i thought that would be the opportunity that would be harder to play which makes it a great opportunity because then beginners don't have to play the same game you don't have a lot of competition but I realized that who's going to buy old businesses? They're not exciting. Someone with a billion dollars is not going to want to acquire cleaning businesses because what kind of return are they, is it going to give them? It's too, it doesn't produce enough margin as a business for it to be attractive, not enough margin or growth rate for it to be attractive for an investor or a a crazy private equity business that is willing to invest a lot of money, right? So I realized that, well, if it's a business that then is tech enabled, that is a different story. Or you build a tech that enables in a specific industry, then the tech becomes something worth a lot of money because technology, zero margin or cost of replication, you build it once, a million users can use it or 10 people or a billion people, it's still going to cost you almost the same amount. So I'm excited for this future and I'm making this video just to say, to almost document my thoughts. I believe we have the potential to build a nine-figure company, but the way we're going to do it is not just through my brand. I believe we're going to be empowering our clients 
clients to build their own AI platforms, or at least to turn what they do with their AI firms, where the AI implementation businesses, or even agencies, even consultants, people who do consulting, coaching, information. I believe we have an opportunity to help them turn their playbooks, their knowledge into AI platforms. And we're going to help build a hundred AI platforms that we scale each to a million dollars profit. Do you guys think it's possible building a hundred platforms for a hundred founders, a hundred of our partners, get it, get each platform to produce a million dollars profit per year, which ends up becoming a hundred million dollar profit engine every single year. I don't know how much value this would be, but it would be worth a lot of money to someone. And maybe eventually we exit. I don't necessarily want to exit. I love the game of business. It gets really hard at times. Sometimes you're like, man, this is game is so hard. It takes so much energy to win, but then you're winning. And then you're like, you know what? This actually may be kind of fun, <laughs> but guys, um, if you missed the webinar, you can join a wait list. We're probably going to be hosting another one, uh, next month. But for everyone who decided to work with us, I can't wait to get in the trenches with you guys. I can't wait to figure this out together. I'm not going to be like I have it all figured out. Unlike a lot of people online, I'm not the most knowledgeable people about this space. As add on top of it, AI it is such a fast pacing, fast paced industry that like even experts aren't experts. So I'm just honored that we have people who are able to trust us to invest in us and to believe that we are the right partner to help them figure out how to win in the fu in this future that is so uncertain. So far right now, I think the playbook is really simple. You stop the service businesses, you sell systems. These systems, you sell them for a premium. You build a client pool. As you implement these systems, you get data from the businesses you're integrating these systems for. And when I say data, I'm not talking about some proprietary like, in, like their customer data. No, I'm literally saying you see what works, you see what doesn't work. You build new playbooks from it. Once you have enough clients, you then figure out a way to productize your service. You productize all these systems all into one. And then you literally get to a point where you own intelligence and you rent it out either to these businesses or to other people who want to serve these businesses and make money for themselves. It's kind of like woo woo as I'm talking about it right now. But when we drop what we've built, everything will make sense. This is the most exciting period to be a business. And I'm going to wake up tomorrow, get back straight to it. Now I got to go get food. Uh, I haven't ate all day. It's 8 p.m. I think I, I drank a few glasses of water. I had coffee and I had a little bit of juice. <laughs> But now it's time to get to work. But I had to come to to this high school because it all starts somewhere. Like we're not like it's just me, my little GT3. And it, but it all started from here. I had to picture this life. I had to believe that I could do it. Right. But even when I'm in the position where I could do it, I still show up for six and a half hours straight to yap and talk. Right. I looked at a stats because. I had, I know Hermosi went crazy with his webinar, uh, but I looked at our stats and I looked at the conversion rate, not necessarily because we have people who have booked out in the future. We have like a hundred plus sales calls. I looked at the stats and if you were to multiply the attendees we had today multiplied by just the cash collected today and you find the unit value of each attendee and you multiply it by the number of attendees let's say half of the numbers of attendees that Hermosi had and you just give us let's say 300,000 attendees we would have cleared almost 70 million dollars which is crazy right so I mean I'm not saying I'm Hermosi <laughs> but I'm just saying the conversions based on the numbers the revenue per attendee numbers, I think Jason Fladlian or Mosey and add up all the webinar people. I'm up there. But I don't think it's because, like, again, it's not because I'm a sales machine or a webinar architect that's so good. I actually think it's because of the product we dropped. It was so good that uh, we, fl I mean, we're probably going to, we're going to go crazy. Okay. But love you guys. Take care. See you guys in the next one. I can't wait to share with you what we've built, but please keep chasing your dreams. Keep going after AI. I think AI is going to change everything um, and look out for more stuff that we're learning and uh, look out for our next session. Uh, join the wait list for the upcoming session if you missed it. And uh, yeah, let's go.